everybody, we're with Legacy Esports and they're up and rising in the local League of Legends scene and we're here at their new gaming house in Lidcombe, Sydney. We, we don't start on White Lidcombe, it's a long story. <laughs> we're, it's, we're actually, the media contingent here is quite impressed with what we see and you guys seem to be up going and introduce yourself guys and tell us what position you play in terms of the league. I'm Arn, my gamer tag is Pinky Whale, and I'm the coach. Uh, my name's Tim, otherwise known as Carbon, uh, I play Jungle. My name's Aaron, otherwise known as True Choose, and I play Red Lane. My name's James, otherwise known as Tally, I play Top Lane. My name's Kelvin, I'm the and I play Red Lane. My name's Jonas, also known as Regret9, and I play Support. What are your guys' gaming background? How did you get into League? Uh, I've always been playing games since I was a child. Uh, my grandmother. Into it. What was a game that is uh, in the memory of you when you were growing up? It was Red Alert. First Red Alert? Oh boy. <laughs> old one. Yeah, that's five years old. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my first games were uh, actually had like a real. The first game I had was a real, real old school Game Boy. Oh, like yeah. The black and white one. Uh, and I had Space Invaders on that. And uh, my mum had bought it for me because we were moving from South Australia to Melbourne. Right, and, uh, right, right, road trip. Yeah, I, she gave me something to keep me entertained. Yep. Yeah, um, you know. I started with the PlayStation 1. Okay. I played 3D Pac Man. Okay. It was a. It was an RPG, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, it's okay, PlayStation 1, he's, he's got a little bit leeway. He's got a little bit. Yeah, level 9. No, 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 I'm not kidding. No, it was actually a pack. Like, you played Pac-Man. Like, yeah, level 10. And you had to eat, um, you sure he didn't play Lady Pac-Man? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Pac-Man, man. <laughs> no, 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 but you had to eat, like, different fruits, and, um, yeah. It was a like, heaps good, yeah, heaps good time. Like, okay. I got me into it. Fine. Uh, my first game was on the Game Boy Advance. I played Pokemon Emerald. It was a birthday present when I was really young, and I like got into like the whole more or whatever, and like really enjoyed reading Ooh. about Pokemon. Game Boy Advance, a bit new there compared to Red Alert, but it's yeah. all right. We can't judge you. You're all professionals here, so. <laughs> um, um, my brother, old brother, got a PS2, and then the first game was Kingdom Hearts, and then down with an Xbox. So yeah, Xbox 360. So basically, what you were basically watching your brother play different games, and you caught on that way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, my dad used to play games a lot. He was really good at that. So I um I watched him play a lot when I was like five, six. He played Empire Earth on the PC, and so that got me started on strategy games. Okay. So I started playing Age of Empires two, and like Age of Empires three, whatever <laughs> stuff like that. And I slowly transitioned into MOBAs because. I felt like RTS games had too much to control. Ah. So League of Legends is just one character, so it was really good. For me. I'm more of a Starcraft guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Harry, do you mind? Yeah, that's alright. All right. You get one chance. Okay, so a real, a real first game was actually I had a PS1 when I was really young. I used to play Crash Bandicoot Tag Team Racing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Crash yeah, Bandicoot's okay. quite popular, that's that fine, that's fine. That I used to play Crash that with my sister after oh. school every day when we got home. Which oh, was really good okay. Yeah. So. So, t- so, so, coach, tell us about the team mechanic of league. I mean, how, how you know for you guys playing together, and how you guys think in terms of you know who does what and what skills are needed and that sort of thing. You know, the me- mechanics of playing league in a professional team like yours. Right. Okay. Well, I guess playing league can be compared to playing football. Um, everyone has their own position: wing, centre. Uh, you know, whatever. Yes, all right. Dummy half, etc. So everyone knows. You know what they should be doing and what um, they are doing, but it's just a matter of passing the ball down the line and getting a try. So they really need to work together in the game um, and you know, bring their positions together. You know. How long you guys have been playing together? Uh, As this it's iteration of the roster, yeah. it's only been around probably a month. Um, and before that, did you guys play together online well, informally or? Uh, yeah, but not with this lineup. This is uh, new as of this year. Me and Aaron have played together. Uh, so basically, they're clustered, clustered, like you two and you two and you two, and now you're all together. So, so because as you, cl- so if you don't mind me saying cluster, so now are you guys able to like predict each other? Like, you got, you know how he plays and he knows how you play, and you don't even have to like say certain things. You can just, you know, it's all natural and it flows. Is it? Yeah. Um, 
And how long did it take to get to that? Like when you first start playing, was it a bit like difficult? Like you have to tell, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Or just did it, how long did it take to mesh? Uh, it's uh, an interesting question, really, because I can't remember the point where I thought like, yes, now we. Sure, mesh. because you're, you're playing every day. Yeah, you're playing yeah, all day. You just it just, just flows. You yeah, know, you don't I'm, notice. You don't notice you're playing. Someone, playing with someone new, uh, like Calvin, for instance. Um, it's not necessarily you're not. You know, you're not telling them off. Like you ask them, like, why? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? It, you know, it's, you know, he's at this level because he's very good, right? So it's more, it's more, uh, just getting on the same page. You know, it's, it's yeah. just communication. It's like this is what I think we should do. What do you think we should do? And then trying to find a, a, a medium. So do you guys have like a um, briefing, debriefing when you do the matches and you go, yeah. oh, we should have done that. Yeah, so, yeah. so right. basically, the same thing as what's stereotypical is that people see for pro. In terms of right. that sort of thing. Thank you. Thanks, Thank mate. You. Thanks, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, generally, what I say is uh, what we do is not a sport in the sense that it's physical. It's not. But in almost every other aspect, it's the same. Um, you know, communication, uh, discipline, teamwork. So uh, in terms of league specifically, what's the most important thing? Communication or knowing the tactics or certain... Because, for example, RTS, you're supposed to know the build order and all the tricks, but league is a bit, you know, a bit different. No, you don't know the, the most important thing in, in being very good at league is mechanics. You need to know how to play the game. If you can't play the game, it doesn't matter how well you communicate, it doesn't matter how good your teamwork is, like, you're not going to win. So oh, for, for me... Team, right? Team sense. Oh, we're talking bad. individually mechanics. No, no, no. Well, as a team, if we were all bad mechanically, you think no, it's yeah, following what he's saying. It's fine. So, like, you have to be, you have to be good at the game before you can start worrying about those extra. The difference between a good team and a great team is things like communication and teamwork. But to be a good team, you need to know how to play the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was. No, it's a between us. Maybe between us, but not between us and the general public. So, so what are your goals? What are your goals for this season? I mean, go to Worlds, go as far as you can. Go all the way to Worlds. Yeah, I'll definitely win wild cards. I think definitely to win wild cards. I mean, to win wild cards. So explain what that is. So. After you win the comp first in Oost, you play in the yeah. or Oceania, you play in the final. As a team, so you guys obviously, a bit, we can, I'm going to call you pros now obviously, and I'm sure you should respect yourself as pros. So as far as what you see the local scene, are you happy with the local scene for league, the setup and all that? What do you, what do you want to see changed and that sort of thing? What's your opinion of what, how the setup is here at the moment? Um, well, the team's definitely improving, so everyone's getting better year by year. I'd like to see more gaming houses. Okay. Currently, we only have two in our scene. Uh, ideally, that's just for league or in overall? League, yeah. Okay. Ideally, we want all eight teams to have gaming houses. Um, we'd also want you know to play live on stage like they do overseas. So that'd be great. So yeah. what? So what event are you referring to? You're referring to fi- world finals for league? I'm referring to LCS. LCS. So LCS overseas. Yep. In America, they play uh, weekly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we just talked about how the, I was talking to Aaron earlier, and just now you guys mentioned about the wild card. Why we have that set up here? Why isn't it just direct? Is that because the market is too small here, or what, what's what's going on? Wild card is all the minor regions. So yeah. Because I think there was a similar issue with soccer or something. I mean, yeah. people complained and people complained because they thought Australia was you know too significant for that sort of thing, and now we're seeing sort of the same thing now with the esports. Yeah. It's, 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 it's pretty much exactly the same. You know, Australia, like in most things, is smaller than the bigger countries, um, so they, they you know they require us to go through an extra step of qualification. You know, we would love to get directly seated in to uh, what is basically the World Cup for league. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at the moment that's just not how the setup is. So from your point, there's not enough esport players here, not enough sponsorship, or the it's management a, doesn't know what's going on. And I mean, they're all it's a, they're all linked, right? But for me, uh, the big thing is just population. Really, what we find, what you find internationally, is that the countries with the highest playing base, you know, the most people playing, they're usually the best countries. Uh, I mean, we have a relatively low um, population compared to like Korea and China. And, America. In the news recently, there was some news over overseas. I'm not, I'm not saying here. There was some news about esports players getting, going on Adderall and there's drug testing overseas. Do you see that as a problem going forward as pros in the scene? I think in the next 10 to 15 years, I think you'll definitely see uh, some action being taken there. I know not in league, but I know that in other games they're already doing testing. 
uh, ESL do testing for Counter Strike. Uh, Counter Strike already ran into. So I think I've they've already, people they've already started bands. picking people up. So I think, yeah. I think like in any like in any competitive arena, you know, be it sport or be it whatever else, um, people will always look for every advantage they can get, and unfortunately. Um, that's just one aspect of that. You're very fortunate to have this game. You know, we looked at the gaming house earlier. You, you've got an international quality set up here, and you've got Assist as a sponsor, you know, premium sponsor. How did that come about? They found you, you found them. They noticed your playing quality, and I didn't. I kind of wanted to stop answering them, but I suppose I, I'll do this. One. Um, yeah, this so not overall. I mean, if it's a complicated answer, just no, no, it's, it's not complicated. It's more. Like, we don't want to answer too many, but they don't actually know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, I know. so. You want to do it then? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, so look, this, this, was a, this has been a goal of ours basically since the beginning, you know. This is the international standard, like you said, uh, and this is something we've always wanted. Um, so we've been, we've been planning and working towards this for a very long time. Uh, we uh, went to ASUS um, with yep. the idea, and, um, yeah. and uh, you know, they took it internally, okay. and approved it, and then uh, we worked together to make this happen. Yep, so we, we talked earlier, I was talking to Aaron about your schedule and I've seen some what the others do in Europe, you know, you guys pretty much got a 12 hour day, don't you, don't you feel tired at the end of the day and you wait next day, you know, you, know, you said you have a late, a late morning, you know, oh, and you don't want to do this, how do you get through, you know, every day, how do you push yourself through it? Um, I, yeah, you know, you guys do it, yeah, yeah. Because so, I know myself, you know, just... I'm not obviously I'm not pro like you guys, but you know sometimes it's very tiring. You know what, what you guys do, and I do something. You know, in terms of what I do, it's very tiring. I mean, how do you push yourself to get up in the morning? And go, oh, I have to, you know. So the main reason that I personally get through it is because I actually enjoy the game a lot. So the fun side really. But don't you find playing every day gets tedious? No, no, no not not a lot. Because the game it's never the same. It's always changing. Like no two games will ever be the same. So. Do you rage quit? <laughs> so sometimes. <laughs> It's alright. Yeah, but yeah, it's more the enjoyment side that just keeps getting me through the, the long hours or like the small amounts of sleep, stuff like that. But, so do you guys, do you guys have a planned diet, planned exercise, or just ad hoc, you guys trying the best you can? Yeah. So, everyone's sort of got their own routine outside of the game, outside of practice. Um, some of us go to the gym. I'm pretty sure we all eat relatively healthy. Um, we take turns cooking dinner every night. Um, but... Yeah, we tend to do it. <laughs> because some some esports teams are more regimed. They have more of a yeah, formal regime and less casual. He loves to cook. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's surprising. And that's working. You know, you don't know if you don't feel you need a regime from your coach and your manager to force you to get up yeah, and like force not, you to eat dinner. You know, yeah, we're not ordering takeaway. We're not getting KFC every day. Like okay. we're pretty, we're pretty. Everything we've yeah. yeah. been. Yeah. We don't have like a. We don't have like a hardcore. Like, like regiment, like yeah. you must wake up at 7 a.m. You must eat this for lunch. You know, it's it's pretty loose because um, they seem very cohesive. So you know, yeah, I yeah, think no, I try to yeah provide them with, a, with as much autonomy as possible. You know, it's their life. We don't run it, or the coach doesn't run it. Um, but at the same time, you know, so there are co- standards. So, coach, what do you, what does the team need to do better? What are you trying to get out of them at the moment? Yeah. <laughs> I think at the we, moment, yes. I think we just need time. Like we just, okay. Every day we're getting better. Um, we're getting better at everything. Yeah, well, you have an environment, so you know, we'll see yeah, how it goes. So, so, what's next for you guys? Where can people see you play? What are you doing next in terms of your formal commitments, in terms of playing and uh, all that? So, we play every week. On stream. Games, Twitch. Twitch, okay. Happy. Official, no, official Riot Games. Yep, okay. Yes. And so, Hopefully, yeah. the next time you can see us live, we'll maybe be another event like this, or uh, the finals in Brisbane. Finals in Brisbane. When's the finals? Seven, eight weeks away. And so that's the regional uh, file. So that, um, the the drama, the date, then it's fine. We'll yeah. we'll amend that. Well, like so, so that's the regional finals. You're bidding for a wild card to go to the. Well, yep. LCS. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for talking to Nitro.net. Good luck, and we're very, you know, even as media, we're very impressed that you know you bring in the flying Australian flag. You guys have the first Australian gaming house. So thank you very much for talking to Nitro.net.